scientists expected the Mars rover Spirit and Opportunity to run for three months. Three years later, the Hardy rovers are still operating on opposite sides of the Red Planet. This is Spirit Story. Opportunity is, is very much the glamour girl. She just lands right where there's evidence for water. And that Spirit is a little more, you know, a little more of a serious sister and has to kind of, you know, she, she really had to work a little more for everything she accomplished. Scientists realized these plains of Goose of Crater didn't have the water story everyone was looking for. And they wondered, could the Columbia Hills harbor the pot of gold? They basically just gave us the keys for a couple months and said, get the rover to the Columbia Hills by Sol 160. As we started to find the water story in the Columbia Hills, we have made um, very important discoveries um, within the rocks, uh, you know, mineral types that we believe that formed in water, and both Spirit and Opportunity have done that uh, through their, uh, their mission. The discoveries didn't come without challenges. We designed all these rovers to go and do science on flat terrain. But we go to Mars and we find out that all the high priority science targets are on slopes and mountains. A climber himself, Chris Leger, helped Spirit with Martian mountaineering. If you look at our, the map of our traverse, we started on the north side and then traversed all the way around and then approached it from, uh, from the west side when we actually climbed up. After scaling the summit, Spirit's right front wheel stopped rolling and the rover was backsliding on loose ground. Spirit's life was definitely in jeopardy. In a very short period of time, we had to figure out how to drive her with five wheels, how to get her out of the sand cup that she was in, and how to get her up onto something, um, dragging one wheel as she went, um, that would enable her to point the, the wheels, uh, to point the solar panels at the sun. And we were watching the solar power curves go down and down every day, and the, the heaters start to come on to keep the vehicle alive. We were fortunate to be able to get Spirit just in time to what we call low ridge, which is about a 10 degree slope. So we can point Spirit 10 degrees towards the sun. It was just in the nick of time. Spirit hunkered down for the winter, but still managed to do science. The rover found evidence of ice clouds in the atmosphere and snapped the most detailed Martian panorama ever taken. Both of the rovers have had uh, two brain transplants uh, in the time they've been on the surface of Mars. Basically, the rover software is called probably what you and I know as the Ten Commandments, but it's called more like Thousand Commandments. That shall not go over a rock 25 centimeters tall. That shall not drive and get a tilt of more than 25 degrees. And that shall not kill yourself. With winter gone, Spirit Ever the Trooper is on the move again. She's a stubborn old girl and she's hanging in there and she's not going to give up. <laughs>